Hi everyone and welcome to another Pat Problems video. My name is Helena and I'm the Access and Outreach Manager for the Department of Materials at the University of Oxford and today we're going to be taking a look at question number 11 from the 2012 Pat paper. So let's take a look and see what this one's all about. So here we have the question and it simply says solve this inequality here. Okay, so how are we going to go about that? So we can see that we have our uh, inequality for x kind of sandwiched between two boundary values. So what we're going to do to help us solve this is we're going to take each side separately. So first of all, let's look at the left hand side here. So what's the left hand side? So we have this minus one, which is less than minus one over x plus two x. Okay, so if we multiply that by x to get it onto one line, we have minus x less than minus 1 plus 2x squared. So we're getting a quadratic here that we're going to have to solve. So let's get this all onto one side of the inequality sign. So 0 is less than 2x squared plus x minus 1. So we've got that from just the left left hand side of this inequality. So in order to find the sort of boundary values for x for this inequality, let's set this equal to 0 and solve the quadratic here. So let's set it equal to 0 here. So 2x squared plus x minus 1 equals 0. And now let's solve this. So to do this, we're going to need to use the quadratic formula here. So what's that? Let's just write this up here. So hopefully you remember this x equals minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's substitute the correct coefficients for this uh, quadratic here into the formula. So we get that x equals minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times a which is 2 times c, which is minus 1, all divided by 2a, which is 2. OK, so let's just multiply this out, simplify this. So we have minus 1 plus or minus 1 minus, so that's 8 times minus 1 is minus 8. So this is becoming a plus here, all divided by 4 which is equal to minus 1 plus or minus, well, that is the square root of 9 over 4. And obviously the square root of 9, you should know, is 3 minus 1. So we've got plus or minus 3 all divided by 4 here. So the two roots for this particular quadratic would be minus 1 plus 3, which is 2 divided by 4, which is a half, or x equals take the minus, so you have minus 4 divided by 4, which is equal to minus 1. OK, so those are the sort of boundary values for this inequality from the left hand side. So now let's have a look at the right hand side. So I'll just underline those quickly. Okay, so the right hand side of this inequality, we have that minus 1 over x plus 2x is less than 1 here. It's just copied on the top there you can see it okay so again let's get this all onto one line multiply by x so we have minus 1 plus 2x squared is less than x and again let's get this all onto one side here so we have that 2x squared minus x minus 1 is less than 0 so it's very similar to the one above, we've just got a slight change in sign here. And again, let's find the roots using the quadratic formula there. So let's substitute in the coefficients for here. I'm just going next to it to save some space. So we have the x equals minus b, well b is minus 1, so we have 1 here, plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 1 squared, which is 1 minus 4 times 2 times minus 1 again, all divided by 2 times 2 here. So again, let's simplify that, multiply it out and simplify. So we have 1 minus, we've got 8. Again, we've got the same here, so it's going to be a plus 
eight again in the brackets and uh, five by four. So again, it's looking very similar to the one above. We just have a slight change of sign here. So what are the roots here? So we have x equals one plus or minus. Again, we've got the square root of nine and four. So the two roots are x equals, well, we've got one plus three here, which is four divided by four, so we have one. Or x equals well, one minus three, you've got minus two divided by four, which is minus a half. So there's a certain sort of symmetry here in these four roots. So if we make the inequality inequality, we have four solutions here, which are giving us, again, like I said, those sort of boundary uh, values for x. So we have, if I put them in ascending order, we have minus one, minus a half, and then a half and one. Okay, so looking at this inequality that we're given here, and the fact that we've got these sort of four boundary values to this, uh, this inequality here, we can have a think about uh, for what values of x between these values are going to hold true. Okay, so you could just sort of think this logically, or you could test some values um, outside of these uh, limit values here and see what happens and sort of between them and see where x holds. So for example, if you tested in the middle here, say tried x equals zero, we can immediately see that this term here is going to sort of blow up to infinity because we're dividing by zero here. So for x equals zero, this inequality isn't going to hold. And if we do that, if we check a few values or if we sort of think logically, we can see that we're going to have two ranges for our values of x. And it kind of makes sense as well when you put them in ascending order here. So we're going to have a range between the, of x values between these two values and then another range between these two values here. So we have minus 1 is less than x, which is less than minus a half. And again, where x is greater than a half, but less than one. And that is our inequality up here solved. So we have two ranges of x for where this inequality holds true. And like I say, you can check out some values, you can test it just to make sure um, that that is the answer that we get. So I hope that was helpful. Again, this is just one way of solving this question. You might go about it in a slightly different way. Um, but again, I hope this was useful for you and I hope you'll join us next time when Catherine will be taking us through another patch question.